Today, Senate Democrats blocked Republicans' so-called skinny coronavirus relief plan. The smaller and more targeted bill included millions of dollars in aid for schools, vaccines, and help for small businesses. KCU 9's Washington correspondent Raquel Martin tonight has more. The motion is not agreed to. Thursday, Senate Republicans tried but failed to break weeks of gridlock with a skinny coronavirus relief bill. Missouri Republican Senator Roy Blunt, who led the effort back to work, back to school, back to child care, says the plan would have sent millions in emergency aid to schools, extended a more modest $300 unemployment benefit to struggling Americans, and helped expedite a vaccine. More vaccine development, more manufacturing, and more distribution. To have a vaccine and not be able to get it out there would be a huge mistake. But Democrats called the bill completely inadequate and slammed Republicans for refusing to include money for local governments and a second round of stimulus checks for families. Why? The economy is still hurting with 30 million plus Americans out of work. Illinois Democratic Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth both voted to block the proposal. It's not a skinny bill, it's an emaciated bill. I couldn't vote on this. It has nothing in it that will help American people. It has nothing in it that will help people keep a roof over their heads. Republicans Senator Josh Hawley agrees the bill didn't do enough. We really should be focused, more focused, on getting relief to families. But says at least Republicans are trying. Something is better than nothing, and right now my Democrat colleagues are voting for nothing. We're in a very sad situation here. Democrats are pushing a more than $2 trillion plan and say they will keep trying to negotiate a compromise. In Washington, Raquel Martin, KCAU 9 News.